Hi guys, welcome back. This video that you are watching right now is my thousandth video in YouTube. It's been almost eight years ever since I launched my first video in YouTube on BDD with Specflow. The reason why I started this YouTube channel was especially to give a notes to my students as a recorded video so that they can actually watch those videos so that they don't really have to keep asking me questions on the topics which they have missed already because some of the students used to come to my home every weekend during that time to learn the automation testing from me. That's how this whole YouTube channel concept came in. And during the same time, I actually didn't find even a single YouTube channel which actually covers a lot of different automation testing tools and techniques in much greater detail as well as in high quality as well. But right now there are many YouTube channels available. Some of the name few of my friends are like Mukesh Votwani, Naveen's Automation Lab, Select Our Hub, as well as Joy Colinta. All these people are doing amazing in the YouTube channel. They are doing so many different automation testing videos as well as high quality content to help people understand how to really nurture in the automation testing field, which is amazing. But back then, it was not the case really. Well, as I said, now I have almost 60 plus playlists in my YouTube channel. And you can see that right now, all these content which are available starting from the BDD with Specflow. If we go back to this created playlist, you can see that I have my YouTube channels from BDD with Specflow and then Test Complete, Framework Design and Development, Visual Studio, Code UI Testing, Selenium Tidbits, and then all the way to like the Playwright with uh, C-sharp.net, API testing with Playwright, event-driven architecture, shell scripting, and also these days I'm talking about ChatGPT. So all these things are quite awesome. Like we have so many different playlists over here. And I have covered not just about the testing tools and technologies, but I also have covered some of the development uh, patterns as well as development tools, as well as the development languages like C-sharp, Java, Python, uh, also with many different a fusion of all these automation testing tool with these languages, which is why this channel has got like thousand videos right now. Not only that, I've also covered some of my courses in Udemy, like 31 courses I have right now with different tools like Playwright, uh, Specflow, Selenium, as well as the microservice development and testing the microservices in Spring Boot, not only in Spring Boot, but also in .NET using event-driven architecture and how you can create your own GraphQL and also how you test the application with the GraphQL in the c -sharp .net as well as in the Spring Boot and deploying the application in Jenkins and GitHub pipelines and all these things. I've covered everything in this particular Udemy course. So the main idea of all these courses is not just about teaching the automation testing tools but also to understand the techniques, coding patterns, design patterns, and what are the best approach that you can test your application in much, much sophisticated and much, much easier fashion so that you don't really have to write the boilerplate codes and make the coding more cumbersome. That is the reason why these courses are evolved. And if you take any of the course, for example, the recent course which I released on the automation framework development with Playwright in c .net. If you take this particular course, you can see that this course not only just talks about like the application testing with Playwright, but also like what are the better approaches that you can create to make your automation more better in terms of writing like a framework and then how you can use different techniques like dependency injections or how you can bring in the containerization of your testing and run them in the GitHub Actions pipelines and stuff. All these things are covered in this particular course. That is the whole idea of any of the course that I have covered. So this is one of the course and I can keep talking about other courses as well, but I'm just gonna let all these things uh, to you to go and browse yourself. But the whole idea is these courses are especially to created to make anyone understand not only just the testing tools, but also to use the texting techniques and the methodologies to be implemented in their day-to-day -day life. But one of the most common question if you ask me what is being asked every time while I tell that I'm doing my YouTube video is how much money, Karthik, do you make in your YouTube channel? I'm sure that if you are a YouTuber, you're watching this particular video, you might have been asked the same question. And I don't really have a definite answer really because YouTube doesn't really make you rich with the content that you really create. It depends on what quality content that you create and how much time and effort that you put. Each and every time, the number of hours that I put to create this content 
is almost the same like every time i do my first video in youtube all the way back in uh, 2014 so that is how i always do that like because there are so many retake happens even for this video which i'm doing this video i'm doing for the second time with a lot of retakes and while editing i've realized that my video is wrong and then i go back and redo it that's how everything happens i think the hours that we put in order to make these contents are much much higher than the money that you make out of these uh, whole uh, content that you really create so the way that people ask about like how much money that you make is probably not pretty much proportional to the amount of effort that you really put to make those content because that is not equivalent to what you really make so the whole idea of all the content creators exist in youtube is not just to create the content in order to make money out of it rather to deliver a quality content to the students who, which can actually change anyone's life to make them better and also progress in their career as well as in their life and that is the whole idea of all this content creation really so it's not just about the money but it also a lot more than what we are doing over here so once again thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for everything that you guys have done as a subscriber or as a viewer to watch all my videos and thank you so much for initiating me or triggering me to make thousand videos that is about this particular video thank you so much for making this happen and once again because this is my thousandth video i just want to celebrate this particular occasion and i have created a coupon code called as ea underscore thousand underscore 23 to all my udemy courses who can purchase these courses in much much cheaper price uh, than compared to what is listed in udemy i really think that you guys need to share to anyone who is really looking for uh, enhancing their life in doing a better automation testing these courses should be helpful please ask them to use this coupon code once again thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day